All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, welcome, 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 everybody. What's up, you guys? It's Jono. Hey, welcome to the stream. We'll get it started in just a second once this thing finishes loading. All right, here we are. Things will look a little tiny bit different. I started using mushroom walls. Didn't I get the oven on the last stream? Pretty sure I got the oven on the last stream. I did, right? I did. <clears throat> okay, what's up, Wolf and Knight? What's up, Apple Pie? What's up, Mary Grace? Thought I heard a uh, ladybug, but don't see it. Okay, I built I built my original base into a uh, bug lure. Oh, there she is. Yeah, get her. Okay, so you, I'll I'll show off what I got going here. So I got a bug base. <clears throat> she can't get me. Mushroom walls are pretty strong. My stuff is real, real strong. My bow and arrow and all that. So I got a nice little bug base here. Ladybug can't get to me. All right, not bad, not bad, right? Cool little bug base. Um, so I can just lure bugs. Is there another one? Wait, I hear another one. I also slotted my repair tool because I realized stuff needs repair. Like, look at this, how does all this need to be repaired? My stairs need repair? How is that even possible? I must have had a bug battle. Sometimes the bugs, if I if I bring enough bugs, they actually do a pretty significant amount of damage to my little base here. And I've been trying to build it up to where, you know, they don't do as much damage. I don't think I need the... Anyway. This is my bug base. This was my original base. If you guys have been watching the whole series, which if you are, bless you. And uh, if, this is my original, original base that was kind of like too exposed. Hey, what's up, Mary? <clears throat> this base was too exposed. So I moved my base. You guys will know if you've been watching. Wow, my whole base is like destroyed right now. Yeah, you can see I've got the entrances really blocked off. Anyway, I don't know why everything's so destroyed right now. I think I was battling bombardier bugs and maybe they were doing spread damage. Yeah, it must be because everything's just damaged like a tiny little bit. I mean, look at this. It's like they all got like one little notch of splash damage. Okay, whatever. Let's um let's get back to it. So this is my bug base, using the mushrooms. Built myself a nice little setup over here. I got a whole bunch of workbenches because the bugs come after the workbenches. And I have this problem where when I, I, I spawn bugs over here and then the bugs end up going to my main base. Not helpful. Not helpful at all. Not helpful at all. So anyway, today we're going to the upper yard. I usually post a comment and pin it, and I need to post a comment and pin it with what we're gonna do. There's my, oh my God, you guys, look at my base. I upgraded, oh, okay, behold the specter while I, while I write this thing, okay. Today we are adventuring. Adventuring. In the upper yard.
Okay, that is what we are actually doing. The, today's gonna be non-stop solid adventuring, and I'm so stoked about playing right now, so that's why I did tonight's stream as a grounded stream. So, <clears throat> I got a little story to tell you guys. Okay, I went to visit my brother this weekend. Now, if you guys follow my channel and you've been listening to my ramblings, then you'll know the only reason I actually played this game is because it was recommended to me by my brother. And he recommended it and was like, this is a really cool concept. And I was like, that actually is an amazing concept. And he's like, yeah, there's a sandbox and it's really well executed. la di da So I was like, okay, my man, you're a genius. I'm gonna play this game. So I ended up playing the game. <clears throat> so I went to visit my brother over the weekend. <clears throat> and he loaded up his game and he showed it to me. Now he's quite a bit further than I am. And he was like, you don't mind if I show you some stuff that's kind of like spoilers. And I was like, no, that's fine. Go ahead and just kind of show me around your world and show me what you've done. Now he's, him and his wife, they have done crazy stuff. They have gone to the fence, all the way to the fence. That little bit of brown that you see way off in the distance, that's the fence around this yard. They have, and that right there, that big brown blob that you see, that's a shed. And right next to the shed, there's a fence. And the fence goes all the way around the yard. If you know what you're looking at, you can see it. It's above, it's like right below the tippy top of the grass all the way around. It's just like a brown blurry blob. And then there's a shed up there. Anyway, they've gotten on top of the fence and looked over the fence into the beyond world. And if you follow this game on Reddit, there's a whole bunch of people who have gone even further than that. And uh, I don't do all that stuff. I'm playing blind. For those of you who might be wondering, I am playing blind. I have no idea about all that stuff. That's some crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. But they were showing me some cool stuff. They were like, check this out. They built their house on top of the, the picnic table. So their house is <clears throat> up on top of the picnic table. Kind of cool. But yeah, that was their, that was their big brain play. They actually started a whole new game just so they could put their home base on the picnic table and do things right because this is the kind of game that like after you play i mean this even happened to me after i played like my first 10 episodes i finally like was like oh i actually understand how this game works <clears throat> okay i'm just looking at some of my boxes here i need to offload some items i'm pretty organized i've got special boxes for special types of materials I try to stay overstocked on materials, but as you can see, I am understocked on certain stuff. And I try to keep it all in storage. All in storage. I'm also trying to craft every bug. So you guys can see I've got some bugs. Um, Where, where am I gonna be going today? Where am I gonna be going today? Where am I going today? Where am I going? I'm probably gonna be fighting some spiders today. No, what am I gonna be fighting today? What am I fighting? I'm gonna be in the upper yard. Gonna be fighting. That's yeah, fine, I don't think too hard about it. So you guys, I got two ovens going. Two ovens going. And I have been going off on the brick making. I had a lot of bricks. I actually moved all my bricks over to the other, uh, over to the other house because I was building with them. I've got a recipe that makes me mushroom slurry times six, so I'm grinding up those mushrooms and making the bricks. So that's the brick making process right there. Let's see, let's check out my armor. My armor's all in good shape. If I wanna repair my armor, it now takes repair glue. So the repair glue I make over in this contraption here, which is a glue maker, and I can actually make it from bug parts that I would have used to craft my repair, but now I'm making them into repair glue and making uh, repair glue out of them. So that's interesting, that's an upgrade. I also have a few things that I can make. I I killed my first Black Widow. 
that was pretty incredible. I I kind of got the jump on it by doing it in a way that it couldn't defend itself. And I might go do it again, actually. Because, as you can see, I need a lot more Black Widow Fangs. I also need something called Lint Rope. So I gotta figure out how to get Lint Rope. I don't know what that is or how you get it. Wait, 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 wait. Widow Dagger. Lint Rope. Yeah, there's Lint Rope. I don't know what that is or how you get it. So we gotta figure that out. Hey, shout out to Wolf Knight. Uh, I had Black Ox Beetle, Roly Poly, and Ladybird stuck and attacking me at the same time. So so they got stuck where, where they're just like walking, but they actually can't move. Were you way up higher than them? Sometimes if you get way up higher than them, they just won't move. You know what I mean? Like they just can't find a route to you, so they just stand still. This is a black ant sword. This is the first time I've actually got one of these. Black ant sword. Just crafted my first black ant sword. I also want to craft the ox hammer, but I need something called pupa leather. And then I'll have my first level three tool. Yeah, Wolf and Knight. You were, are you saying yes? Like you were super high up above them? Because I've been using that very effectively. I also want to make the termite axe, but I need to get some termite chompers. And I don't know where the termite hill is, so I might have to go figure that out. But then having a level three axe, that could be my first level three thing. I got my level two ant shovel. I already got that. Apparently I can make super venom arrows. I'm, I'm not a... What the heck was that sound? What the heck was that sound? Wait, is there a bug down there? It must have been an ant. Oh my god, that scared me. I can make the Black Ox crossbow. Now, I have to get rust, and I'm gonna need a level 3 thing. Also, I asked my brother, where do I get pine cone pieces? Because I was desperate to know. And he told me it's over in this certain spot. I, I, I don't even know if I remember where it was. Okay, anyway, I can make some new stuff. I'm actually just looking through to make sure that I make everything I actually can make that I might possibly need. I don't get the difference between the ladybird shield and the fire ant shield, but I want to get this pupa leather and lint rope so I can make both of them. So I'm on the hunt for the pupa leather and the lint rope. That's going to be one of my main goals today. So we're good there. Apparently I can make something called a widow hood. That's new. Super spider venom and lint rope. <clears throat> Uh, I've just been trying to make everything that I can make, you know, as I can make it. Termite armor, roly-poly breastplate. See, this is what I want to make. I need to get this pupa leather. I need to kill some roly-polies, but I have a bunch of exploring to do, so I can't spend the whole time killing bugs. But I do have a lot of exploring I need to get done, and I can make so much new stuff, too, so I really need to get making them. Also, you guys, I can get a pet, and I'm getting so many little objects for my pet, and I haven't, I don't have a pet, so I gotta figure out how to get this pet thing going. I don't know if they're useful in any way, but, yeah, we might have to. Alright, I'm gonna rock with 20 bandages, because you never, I'll probably run out of those 20 bandages so fast. Okay, the rest of it is new buildings. I did level up off camera so I did get some new stuff got the oven you know there's something I really want to make that my brother actually crafted and it was so funny because he was just able to craft it like boom like he just crafted it and I was like oh I wish I could just craft stuff like that I didn't make this pet house hang on I need to make this pet house it, it is like unfathomable that you can have a pet in this game and I have not made the pet you know what I mean like I don't know if I'm gonna do it today but what did I need for I think it said I need four it's just unfathomable to me yeah it was four okay so pet house use no pets live here yeah I, I'm gonna put that there as a reminder you're gonna need good armor to get pine cones better than my ladybug armor i'm just kidding it's not the best armor it's level two armor and level two is the best i can get right now so i'm just saying it's gonna be hard but i can probably i'm gonna try and get that pupil leather and then maybe i can make some some level three armor so we'll try i 
really want to repair my armor before I go into battle, and it doesn't want to let me until I actually have some glue in my inventory, which is annoying. I've got all my super good items in this thing right here. I'm going to repair some of my stuff before I go out. I've got this uh, spicy shard. I was eating it, but I don't know if it was giving me... Hey, what's up, Forest Monk? <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if it was giving me, like, um... I'm going to just keep this repair glue on me. And then if I'm out and I need to repair, I'll have it. And if I need the inventory space, I can always repair and get get the inventory space back. Because those things don't need to be repaired yet. And that's very inefficient to repair them. And then, like, I could actually use them while I'm out, take a few hits, and then repair them. And it would work better that way. So that's what we're going to do. I've been trying to use the needle sword thing. It gives you health back. But then I also found out that you can craft this tick thing. I was, I was, I learned a few things on my brother's game. This tick thing right here gives back health as well, which is very interesting. So I want to craft one of those as well. Tick do a ton of damage, even with the roly polar armor. Oh yeah, I've got a whole system for the ticks and like, yeah, they do a ton of damage, but I got this good little system down <clears throat> to where they'll basically never hit me. Unless they sneak up on me or they tag team me. Okay, I can't upgrade. I just want to make sure my tools are topped out. I've been using the crossbow because it does more damage. Look at... Oh, I gotta... Well, I could show you, but anyway. I've been using the crossbow because it does more damage. Okay. Now... Brittle whetstones. I don't have eight brittle whetstones available. Don't I usually? Okay, I gotta do some fandangling with my arm, with my inventory here because I'm switching out my sword. I've got a. This is a level one larva blade. And this is a level two black ant sword. Look at the difference. See the damage on the crossbow? And then let me move these side by side. And then see the damage on the bow? See the difference? Huge damage on the crossbow. But you do have to wait longer for your shots. But I mean, it's just absolutely staggering difference. But the speed is so much faster. But you do get a little bit more stun as well. <clears throat> I've been kind of using both just to test out what I like. But sometimes on certain bugs, when it's only going to take like three hits with the crossbow. I'll just do the three hits with the crossbow. Because you use less arrows that way too. So it's better on your inventory. Especially if you know you're going to lose those arrows. Okay, I'm just... I'm getting ready because I don't want to leave my house and then realize I don't have something. Because we're going to go far away. You guys are going to love what you're about to see. I'm going to show you something. I did so many... You guys, look at this. You see how many zip lines I have? You see the zip lines? Those zip lines take me wherever I want to go. I kid you not. I can go anywhere. Hold on, can we make any food? I can make mac and bees, but man, the bee fuzz is hard for me to get. I'm not going to waste it. Oh, you guys, we have the Broodmother BLT. <clears throat> I can fight the Broodmother. I'm not playing with you. I can go fight that Broodmother. My brother kind of warned me about the battle just a little bit. I mean, it could happen. I got the Broodmother BLT. We can go and summon the Broodmother and beat that boss. Uh, Wolf and I, have you done that? I'm definitely thinking about doing it. Okay, I have not used this sword. Look at this thing. It looks like a... Uh, like a scimitar or something 
kind of cool. Oh, oh, here I gotta, I gotta chop my mushrooms down. Okay, check this out. I grew mushrooms, and look, this. Some of them got crazy because I gave them like mutation stuff. If you put the rotting food with them, it gives them a chance to get all crazy. Hey, what happened? I turned my light off. Okay, this I actually do gotta do. It's best to try to just pick up the pieces one at a time. Oh, I actually gotta get the food too. Some of those pieces might have fallen over. And I hear a bunch of weaviles down there that I want to go and get free food off of. Okay, so this stuff right here is like miracle grow, And we'll use it up. Alright, so boom, 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 boom. Ready to plant. Some of them will get, uh, like, it gives it like a chance to, like, go super, basically. It says, uh green thumb chance i don't know what exactly the green thumb does but i have to assume it's good and you notice that some of those mushrooms were bigger than the other ones so that's probably why right because they got their green thumb chance 50 50 chance <clears throat> okay Let me drop all this stuff off. And then I'll be ready to rock. <clears throat> I got my best armor on. I'm fully fooded up. Alright, it's time to go. You guys, you're gonna love this. Check this out. Okay, hang on. Haven't fought it yet. Yeah, haven't fought the broodmother yet. I didn't realize you need a recipe to fight the broodmother. Yeah, you have to present her an item. Um, and then when you present her that item, like, like it triggers the boss battle. Because I don't know if you were watching a few episodes back. I went all the way into the broodmother's den. And I went all the way to the back. And I was, like, sneaking in and sneaking in and sneaking in. Because I thought she's in there. But then I went all the way back in there. And there's nothing there. The whole thing's empty. You got to call her in. And then you battle her in there. <clears throat> Okay, check this out, you guys. That's actually kind of helpful. That's my bridge. Okay, I was just making sure I don't need to heal this thing. Okay, these go everywhere. These go everywhere. I can go to every single farming spot I need to go to. I can go to every single spot in the upper yard that I want to go to. I can go everywhere. Uh, actually, where I want to go. I got attacked by a bee up here and I did suffer a little damage. That's why I don't have the bottom portion of this ladder. Okay, where I actually want to go, I do believe is this one hey what's up logan hello hello this uh little thing right here that's running on top of my little bug up there that makes it to where i can go up and down my zip lines not just down i can go both ways up my zip line the zip lines do take absolutely forever <clears throat> However, it's worth the time. Way better than going down there. Oh yeah, Wolf and I, once you get zip lines, you gotta... Yeah, you gotta implement. 
the zipline strategy. I like my tall tall tower on the base on the baseball base. I connected that one over there just for funsies because it was like why not? But probably won't use it that much. Those were my stairs. Remember my stairs I built up here? Man. Good times. Okay, I have a few things I need to like there's stuff that I've discovered up here and I was like, "Eh, I'll get it on the live stream. I can always come back, you know." So you know, with that in mind, I'm coming back. I got a few bugs I want to kill. Some big ones. What am I hearing right now? Oh, is it a tick? Friggin' tick, I swear. I mean, I will fight the ticks, but I have more than enough items from the ticks, I do believe. I believe the item that I need <clears throat> more so right now is whatever that pupa larva is. I'm so lost right now. I think I'm going where I think I'm going. <laughs> yeah, Wolfenite, have you done any? Oh, God, what the heck? He's down here. Scares the crap out of me every time. There's like a family of spiders that lives down there. Okay, I'm getting my torch. It is dark. Eventually, I'm going to hit the wall. Yes, this is... Okay, this is where I thought I was going. Now, there is a... Spider den. Right over here. And if done correctly, one can shoot the spiders, if done correctly. The spider den, she's back there, she's back there, yeah. Where's the leaf? I was standing on a leaf and I was shooting at her and I had such a good angle. It is far too dark to be up here. What am I doing? It's all right, though. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Well, I already took her out. She might not actually be there. Oh, no. Her spiderlings are there. Oh, dear. I wonder if she patrols. I don't know. I'm wondering if she patrols. If she patrols, this could be really dangerous. she comes back those guys can be problematic because they will poison you oh, I knew they would get to me they'll always find a way to get to you and they're small enough to do it if it's just them it'll be fine but if she comes around, uh, it's like, no go. They're only worth web, too. They're so hard to fight, and they're only worth webs. Have you built any zip lines? I was just wondering, Wolf and I, like, have you actually, um, like, done even, like, one? I was just curious. Okay, she doesn't appear to be in here. I found this while I was off camera, and I... I was like, I'll come get it, you know. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of here, because this, if she comes back, or if, I don't know. I killed her, and then, you know, I saved the game and got out, so she might not be there, and there's also, like, a, like a big beetle that might not be here as well, but if it is here, I do want to take it out. It might not be, though. 
Oh god, it's there. Okay, yeah, it's there. Okay, that means I gotta get up in a tree. Oh god, did he see me? I think he did. Okay. I did this battle from up here. And it worked. miss with those poison arrows, you know. Oh my god, he hit me. Time I did this, he couldn't hit me. Did he just knock me down? What? Oh, God. he's stuck and he can't hit me then I'm good I didn't want to use all my poison arrows on him but as long as he's stuck and he can't hit me see how much more damage this thing does Sometimes I'm not firing back to back anyway because he's moving around so much. So, you know, the reload time doesn't even really matter if you have to take any kind of aim at all. I got two black ox parts for all that. I didn't even get his, I didn't even get his skull piece, you know? I don't know what's the deal with this black widow. I mean, if she respawns and she comes out here and she starts chasing me around, it could be really serious. But I killed her, she should, maybe she'll be gone. The beetle came back. Who knows? If she's out here, it could be a disaster for me. Hopefully we don't see her. No water filtration tablets needed. Okay, I got that golden molar. Got that black ox beetle kill. The other thing is, I don't really know what's back here. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, anyway, that's why I'm up here exploring the upper yard because, like, there's just a lot of stuff up here that I haven't necessarily figured out yet. I've got three mega molars. I really want to upgrade my max arrow stack. 
I think I'm going to save that fourth one and just wait. I haven't bought any of the sign sets. I'm really not buying those sign sets. The quests are hard to turn in. I've had a really hard time turning in the quests. What are we on right now? Explorer, go to the plank cliff. Chip sleuth, tasteful ascent, chip sleuth. We'll have to try that. You need some beefy fuzz on the rocks? Yeah, I'll have to see what I can do about, like, crafting more stuff. I'm still not that good at crafting the, um... The drinkables. What's up, Shiny Red? Okay, one thing I never did was go all the way over this way. And I never went inside that castle. And I'm going inside that dang castle. I wonder if you have to, like, build a bridge to it. I mean, look at this thing. How do you even get to it? Maybe I do have to build a bridge to it. What do you guys think? I don't know. came over here the other day and there was so many bugs and I was just like dude like whatever's whatever's going on here they don't want me coming this way and that makes me want to come this way even more okay this is like your power move when you get too many bugs just get up in the leaves Is there going to be a bridge over there? I'm going around and around and around it. I see nothing. Oh dear. Yeah, I got a little bug zapper for you, buddy. Dude, he about took me out. I'm telling you, the bugs over here are insane. Better than starving, I think.
Man, they'll really come for you. So annoying. Okay, it does look like the other bugs cleared out. I hear them. Dang it. He almost got me. He was nipping at my heels. Where is he? Okay, I don't want to fill up on donuts and rotten food, but I can farm this donut. Oh no, it's a level three, I can't farm it. Okay, here he comes. Is he throwing the rock at me? Okay, I haven't been this far into the upper yard. I, this is all new for me. Yeah, this is all brand new. I'm not sure if he can destroy the... Oh, wow. He might be fighting the black ant right now. Oh. He is fighting the black ant. The black ant is fighting him. He's legit fighting the black ant. No, he's fighting the fire ant. No, he's fighting the ladybug larva. Yeah, you killed that ladybug larva. Thank you. I hate those things. Dude, he about got me. I got the black ox horn that time. That's the rare item. I got the black ox horn. Oh my god, what is it? Okay, finally the daylight's starting to break. I hate being out here at night. My inventory's full? Eh, my inventory's full. That's great. We'll get that figured out real quick. Probably need to eat some food. That'll free up some inventory. Don't need to have any of that. Don't need the, well, I might keep that beak. It's not the rarest item. I could eat this aphid honeydew, that's good. And what I should probably do is craft a little cookery we'll put it here by the juice box okay three sprigs three 
three sprigs, four rocks, and some dry grass. I don't know where I'm going to find some dry grass. Wait, what the heck? Oh, there's wasps. Oh my god, there's wasps. I don't know how aggressive they are. I don't know if they're like kill on sight if they see me. Okay, I gotta find some dry grass. I don't I don't know about these wasps. That's the first time I've seen wasps. They're brand new in the game. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find some dry grass up here. Go for a little walk, see if we find any. Dry grass. Lots of mosquitoes over there. There's a little shrub over here. Oh, there's the crow. I wonder if I can get close to the crow. Yo, this is the closest I've ever been to the crow. You can shoot the crow, but it don't do anything. What's up, crow? He uh, doesn't appear to do anything. Yeah, gonna have to build a bridge over there. Oh, God. That is no joke when they come for you. I literally just need some dry grass. Okay, well, I'm exploring over here. It says that somewhere nearby. Oh, there's a milk molar. No, that's not a milk molar. Oh, there's... Yeah, there's raw science up there. I could probably get up there with just like a little bridge right here. Um, there's not really anything to build out of over here. This is rough. There's nothing to build out of over here and there's no dry grass. Let's have a look around. Got some gnats. Uh, hello. What the? Supreme marble? Yo, what? We just found a piece of supreme marble. What the? And a tube that goes somewhere? Do I have the Black Ox hammer? No, but my plan is to get it tonight. Hopefully. Oh, I've been over here. The Barbie car. Sturdy quartzite. I can break that. Yeah. 
Cool, I needed some more sturdy quartzite. Very cool. Okay, we're at the Barbie car. There's grass over here. I wonder if I'll find some dry grass. I don't think I found anything interesting around the Barbie car, so I guess it's good I found that quartzite because I thought there was nothing over here. There is like one piece of candy inside the inside the driver's seat, but I can't bust it open. Or well, there's two pieces of candy, but they require level three. So I'll be back for those. I'll be getting sour at some point. Based on oh there oh no way. Yo, I'm so glad I came back over here. This place is a gold mine. Yo, that stuff fell way down there. That's not cool. Yo, this place is an absolute gold mine. I can't believe I didn't find this. Oh, maybe I found it, but I wasn't able to bust it before because I didn't have the level two hammer when I first found this place. If you can believe it. That's how backwards I'm doing this game. <laughs> Yeah, my brother was telling me it's really easy to do what I did and just basically play the game like backwards and like not do stuff in the correct order. And you can make it really hard on yourself, which is kind of what I've done. But it's fine. You know, I'm just playing blind. I'm figuring it out as I figure it out. And uh, that's just how you play some games, you know. And I'm, I'm enjoying it. So that's what really counts. Okay, let's go ahead and chop this. I want those. Dandelion tuft. Actually, I want these too. If I was a builder, what would I build? Wait, what's this? Oh, it's the dandelion stump. I need to build is a bridge oh I need to build a little way to get up here that's what I wanted to build I knew there was something right over here I wanted to build and it wasn't my food thing that I tried to build that never worked out now we're talking now let's see if I can actually walk up this thing or if I'm gonna have to work a little harder at it it looks like it's doable yeah oh wait no a little bit further all right we're we're in it oh there we go it's right there a scientific breakthrough I am an absolute legend. Okay, now, what? I mean, is there anything? They've drawn me up here. This would be a cool little place to, like, put a base. Up in the tree. There's nothing dangerous over here. It's a fairly docile area. It's got food source with the gnats down there. Although, gnats are pretty annoying food source to have to hunt. Still looking for some dry grass. Not the most important thing, but it'd be nice. Okay, we got another of these bush things. Oh god.
There's a paper plane up there. There's a paper plane just chilling up there. Wait, there's something over here. What's this? Pop cap. What the heck? Pop cap. Gotta have an axe. For the pop cap. I'm telling you, it's all new over here. It's all brand new. I've never seen any of this. There's new stuff to farm. This is crazy. Okay, I actually want to get. Wait, what? I want to get up on this leaf. See if I can get up in here. See if I can get up here in any kind of a meaningful way. Pretty sure I just got myself into the tree. Yes, I did. Oh God. Yeah, yeah watch me just get eaten by a spider. Dude, where am I right now? Okay, there's some kind of huge boat thing over here. What is that? Who's on me? Oh, leave me alone. Whoa, I'm sizzling? Run, man! I just wanted to see what the wheelbarrow was. I just wanted to see it. Oh, there's pine cone over here. Oh, are they fighting? No, don't come after me. God. Okay, that was scary. If we find some dry grass. Okay, my brother told me this was over here. Okay, my inventory is full. Sprouts. Don't even need to boil it. Okay. There's stuff I want to pick up over there, and I'm worried I'll have full inventory when I get there. I'm also worried that that dude's going to attack me. I got something for you, buddy. It's called me being up here, you being down there. Yeah. Got something real special for you. Oh! He chomped me. Like I never been chomped before. Oh dear, that didn't work. 
Oh god. What have I done? Oh god, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, he's running me. He was underneath me. Did you see that? He actually, like, he connected with me and made me, like, move. That ain't good. I swear, if he's still able to hit me with these rocks from under there. Dude, I swear he can throw rocks through this thing. Okay, he's literally throwing rocks through it. Very inconvenient for me. I like this leaf better. This leaf is nice and high. I still have some gas arrows. If I could manage to gas him. that oh I missed both of them <laughs> oh my am I near the termite hole wolf and I Cause it looks like I am because it's a big old stump and that's where termites would live right I don't know maybe not Oh my god, he got full health back? It's to the left side of the shed? Okay. This dude is on one. He's not letting it go. Stupid beetle.
Yeah, what you gonna do now? Am I anywhere near the left side of the shed? I don't think I am, right? Pretty sure I'm not. But I could get over there and take a look. Shiny Red's in the red gang. Don't worry guys, he's not in a real gang. payoff for all that hard work I just did upgrade some of my equipment better than starving I think all right my health is actually doing decent my armor is doing decent uh, let's see my axe is doing okay yeah I don't need to repair anything just yet Let's grab up all my arrows. There's a lot going on over here. I'm on the far right of the shadow kid, thank you. Yeah, I've never been over here. This is all brand new. I'm trying to, you know, do a pretty good job exploring. But I'm getting chased around by bugs. It's easy to miss stuff. It's a big old like brick wall here. Definitely something going on. Oh, we got a. A spiny water flea. All it was worth was a water flea meat. That was a lot of work for a water flea meat that I can't even cook. Oh God. Wolf spider. Whoa, there's candy in there. Is there candy in here? Uh, 
Golden molar. Let's go. This would be a sweet spot for a home. All right, we got a mega molar. Nice. This would be a really sweet spot for a home. A little hidey hole. I wonder if we can even build in here. I can't believe I made that jump. Okay, that wolf spider, if he decides to get on me, he could do it all day long. So I do not want him to make that decision. What am I hearing right now? Ants? I think I have enough inventory space to farm these. You've discovered suspicious cap. A condensed. You can't consume this one. You can consume the other ones. You can't consume this one. Interesting. I got a suspicious cap. All right, it's getting dark. I'm getting scared. Definitely something. Okay, that's not good. Can't get me up here. Stupid spider. There he is. I will kill you, wolf spider. 
Because you're preventing me from doing what I want to do. Stupid spider. Should've just left me alone. Now you're gonna suffer the consequences. Hey, what's up, Cheeto boy? Hey, thanks for hanging out, you guys. I gotta get rid of this wolf spider, otherwise he'll just guard the area the whole time. He's done for. Okay, let's see if I can equip. Yeah, I'll get an inventory slot by equipping this. Thank goodness, because I need an inventory slot. Blasted spider. Okay, sturdy marble. This is what we like to see. That's my reward for taking out the spider which was rather challenging okay there's my other reward for taking out the spider can't leave those on the ground on the back edge of I'm on the back edge of the very back of the map I mean we have made it to the very back of the map that's kind of cool there's not much going on back here though place to be the place I actually want to get to is gonna be up on top of these bricks over here and I did find a way to get up there Bust the pine cones. I saw a way to get up there. I lost track of it. Okay, let's go see about this. There's some kind of pathway up to like this gnarly old tree trunk. I want to see what's going on up here with the tree trunk. Oh, this is definitely a den. A wasp's den? Yep, this is scary and I fear for my life. I'm in a strange world. I discovered a field station. I don't see it. Is 
Says I discovered a field station. I don't want to miss any of those blocks. Did I just... Where is the field station? Is it torn apart? Please don't be a tick. It's probably a tick. Okay, it said that there was a field station. I don't see a field station. Supreme Courts. Why is there like writing on the wall here? What is this? There's like something on the wall here. I don't know, what is this? Oh my god, there's a wolf spider. Okay, this place is absolutely freaking nuts. CCTV report? What? I grabbed CCTV report, but... Oh my god, I'm almost dead right now. Sometimes there'll be like a like a tape in here, but this time there was only CCTV report, which I'm like, okay, what if I actually would like to read CCTV report? Are you telling me I have to go through? It's 
CCTV report. Last night I was reviewing CCTV footage and noticed several cameras inside my lab below the old pine stump cut out. All that remained was the feed from the front door camera, its lens fixed at the sky as a hundred rotten wood splinters rained down upon it. To my dismay, the next morning I found the rotten tree trunk had collapsed under its own weight, crushing my lab to smithereens. These lab sets are falling apart left and right. I need to be more careful when I more careful when I scout locations in the future. I can't spare to lose an important research station to ominous shoddy manufacturing processes. Until then, I'll have Burgle set up a feed from the pond outpost alpha, where I'll be conducting some research for a while and lock it with a kill switch for the door I can operate. There may be some unstable devices still knocking around in the dark down there. Okay, so that's what we just picked up. Dude. It says there's a burgle chip in the stump. I thought I was in the stump. I don't know where I am. Yeah, I need to stop going over there. That's what I need to do. Dude, where am I? Oh, it's a tick. Don't want to fight a tick. They do a lot of damage. Dude, I am so lost. Okay, this is bad. Figured I've got myself stuck. Very strange. I appear to have gotten myself stuck there. So Wendell lost his lab over here. Some sap around here.
this is uh, this is stupid. I'm my last auto save is that stupid save that got me stuck. I need to actually make a save. Dude, playing this area at night is busted. It's not good. I need better armor to be over here. Okay, let me grab that. Oh yeah, that's just awesome. He's just standing on top of me. Yeah, no issues. Okay, we'll actually have a save in case I die again. What's this? The wheelbarrow? There was some stuff inside the wheelbarrow I didn't really get. Yeah, I feel like I didn't fully explore the wheelbarrow. You know, there's other parts of the upper yard that I want to explore. I think I'm going to try and head back. This was crazy. Do I hear a ladybird? Oh, wow. A ladybird would be a nice kill. I don't know if I have the inventory. Yeah, I do. This is rough. I'm a little bit outclassed over here with my low level armor and my low level weapons and my health is a bit low it's not looking good for me dude run And keep running. Oh God. Dude, my boy's out of run stamina. Crazy over here. Thank you, Wolf and Knight. <laughs> this is nuts. I want to get my dude back home now and get my spoils. My spoils of war. Oh, you see it? I knocked him out or I stunned him, you know? The boy's down here. He's mad. Oh God. No 
I'll give you a little run for your money, these ants. I'll go home with some red ant parts. Won't hurt. Oh, it's the Supreme. Did she get me? I think I have enough arrows to do this. Everything over here is massively hostile and will kill you in two seconds flat. You better quit crying. Ladybug. I'm gonna shoot him right in the eye. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot another one right in the other eye. Take it. Ladybug parts, ladybug head. Don't care about those. Get those all day long back at my base. Got my arrows, I will take those. Wow, that's a lot of arrows. Got all my arrows back. Nope. Was it an ant? I think it's an ant. Darn lady 
bird. Is there an Orb Weaver Jr. just back here? This was a Supreme Marble blast. Came all the way over here and it's a Supreme Marble. I can't bust it. That's okay, I gotta go back this way. I ain't got time for you. Don't chase me. Don't trip, Pip. Okay, so with regards to the wasp nest, I don't know if that's a permanent object or how that works. I was wondering about that too. You know, like, is it permanent? Can you shoot it down? that something to consider <clears throat> never did find any dry grass I think I've got something I can cook with way down this way. Okay, now this is interesting. What is this? No, I'm going up there. And that one goes all the way up there. Some of them are too steep. You know, the developers are tricky. Sometimes they'll hide little things, little strange things. Also, they give you pretty good spots too. Like if you're up here, you can shoot down anything. Also, it gives you a pretty good lookout. There's probably ways to get up there. Ways to get up there for sure. I gotta get inside that little room right there. That's where I wanna go. And the best place to do is gonna be from the front over there, like that rock right there, and then build a bridge forward, which is kind of annoying. mosquitoes I really want to get over there I don't think you could jump it from like right there if you jumped I just don't think you would make it I don't know, something tells me I want to try. I should have known better. Thank <laughs> you. 
You see my perfect block? Those perfect blocks are really valuable. These dudes are insane. I've been down here before. This is like a little hide for me. That's why I came down here. I knew it was here. This is some kind of water runoff. Like the way that it's built, you know? What? Whoa, this actually is some kind of water runoff. And there's rust here. What am I looking at? That's one of those bombardier beetles. Wow, did you seriously just do that? Oh, I always hit the wrong button. Okay, this is insane. I did not mean to throw my axe down here and I'm really upset that I did that. I'd really love to find a way out of here. Dude, I am not even worried about the to hit this oh my god i hit the wrong button so stupid i'm gonna throw a rock at you Take two of them. I wish they could hurt each other with their dumb rocks. That'd be pretty handy.
Gives me higher attack. It doesn't give me higher anything else. So my guy is hungry. Better than starving. down. I'm gonna stand up for just a second, you guys, because this is a little bit of a grind. We'll keep on them, though. I'm gonna figure out what's down here now that I got an easy kill. And plus, I'm farming the resource that they dropped, so these are good kills. able to eat one of those candies and get a little bit of food that's good kills okay if there wasn't a milk molar in like a whole room down there to explore i might not do this but the chances that i actually find this room again are actually somewhat low so i may as well do it while i'm here that's what i'm here to do is explore so if i gotta you know try to bust a kill off of this dude then that's what we gotta do mind wasting my pollen arrows because I never use them anyway and this dude like this is what it's gonna take all my arrows every last one of them it looks like every last one and wow that was a mess oh we got him now i can just hang out in their home and steal all their stuff They're in some cave down here. And guarding what? I mean, I get it, a milk molar, but anything else? <laughs> All the way up here. Doesn't that look like you can explode it? Doesn't it though? Let's save it and then if you can't explode it then 
We'll get our bomb back. Okay, that did not work. Because I missed? You guys think you can explode it? It, it doesn't look like other walls you can explode, but it just has like cracks on it. I don't know, I feel like trying. I don't know, maybe it's just a regular rock. It's just like, why does this rock have more detail than the other rocks, you know? Let's just try, it can't hurt to try. If I could just get the... I don't think it's anything. That was close enough to explode it, right? I've I've been close enough every other time I ever tried to explode something, and just being near it was fine. I think that just doesn't do anything. Maybe that's a little hidey hole in case you get stuck up in there. <clears throat> okay, so I'm in here. That's where I jumped down from. Pretty sure. I mean, this is a generally hard area. Like, what I just found would be kind of hard to find if you didn't look in this particular little spot. And so I'm wondering, is the only thing in there a milk molar? It is looking like the only thing that was in there was a milk molar. I'm just doing the perimeter because you never know. These developers are tricky. There's some pebbles down here. A lot of pebbles. That seems to be it. What's my inventory like? My inventory's a little bit good. I don't necessarily need the sap, but we could do it. So there is a way out here. Just trying to figure out where I am and all that. Okay, you can get down there. And you can get down there, okay. I went down kind of a weird way. Now it said that there was raw science over here and I still haven't found the raw science. That's what's crazy. I went all the way down there and down there wasn't where the raw science was. So where is it? It'd be cool if I could walk up that. Oh, well, there's rust down here. That's kind of interesting. Uh, this is like a pretty good rust farm spot, if you didn't know about it. Now, to get out of here, I am gonna go on this little doink. There we go. And to get over. You know, I was thinking maybe in a crazy, crazy world, I could run up that stem and jump off the end of there and fly over there. But that just seems ridiculous to me now that I'm looking at it. Oh God. Where is she? I know it's a ladybird. Where is she? Don't I have some ladybird parts that I picked up? I swear I need like a ladybird shell or something like that.
Okay, there's a good chance that the Black Widow is back, and I gotta be real careful when I come through here. She sleeps during the day, so it's pretty much fine, but her little spidey friends love to come and find me. Let's see if she's in there. She is not in there. And this, here I got, I got a cook spot. Oh, I don't have anything to cook. Lost. Yeah, she's definitely not in there. Maybe she hasn't respawned because the spiders are on longer respawn timers, I'm pretty sure, because they're more annoying. So once you get rid of them, you kind of want them to stay gone for a little while. <clears throat> okay, upper yard. I still don't know what's at the top of this rock pile. Way up there at the top. I need to go up there. Oh god, my dude's getting hungry. Ticks down there. I mean, I want to get up there, but <laughs> my dude is hungry and I don't want to die. Okay, here we go. Ah. And he fell down well. Perfect. What a wonderful world. There's still so much yard. There's just so much yard. Even when I'm up here, there's a little area down there I haven't explored, which is like halfway down. And I gotta go over there. That's where I'll go next. Man, let's go handle biz. I'll run back home, get food and all that. Cause dude, your boy is getting parched. We'll go all the way back. The wasp nest is a resource? Oh, Wolfenite, I was wondering what you were saying that whole time of what the, the, you said it's a resource and I was like, wait, what? Okay, what's it turn into? I'm guessing you chop it down with a uh, axe or something. Dude, I don't know how my guy can hang on for that long. He's got to have arms that are jacked. Alright, that's how you do it right there. Dude, we gotta get some food. Oh, I did have... Wait, what? I was at my other cooking spot and it didn't show that I had food or I would have cooked it. Weird. Maybe I just didn't see it.
Golden Cake Canteen is full. Very good. Let's go eat this right off the rack. And then we'll go and grab some actual food. If we can find some. There's always bugs around, it's just like super annoying trying to find them. That's why whenever I can actually grab food and it's just right in front of me, I just grab it because I hate doing this right here. Actually trying to find food. And where is it? Enough of that. <clears throat> we'll find food. I'll eat mushrooms if I have to. And of course, I've always got stored food. Didn't I just grab those acorn bits? Oh, maybe I was full. I'll survive on acorn bits. You can shoot the wasp's nest down. You think I could shoot it down? Like, before they all attack me? I bet the minute that I shoot it one time, they'll start mobbing me. I wonder if you could shoot it down, like, before they really get hard on you. Hey, I got bug parts to drop off. That's always the good thing. Oh, I did have some spoiled food. I was like, I should have some spoiled food somewhere. Okay, let's go craft my... Okay, this is cool. Also, you guys saw I got... I started getting the embiggening cocktail. I don't have everything for it, but... I've started getting the embiggening cocktail started. That's kind of interesting. Okay, let's make as many of these. Okay. Let's make as many of these. And these that I picked up along the way. Make some of these. <clears throat> okay, we'll go make some mighty globs in the oven real quick. Those are kind of hard to get to, so it's nice to get some of those. Ooh, I can make a lot of them. And apparently I can make a broodmother BLT. Let's go. <laughs> I grow the small mushrooms for a constant source of food. Yeah, I feel you. Um, I like the buffs that you get for other food. Like my brother. Uh, my brother's pretty advanced in this game. Wolf of Night. I don't know if you've done another playthrough. You seem pretty advanced like you might have. Um, or maybe you're just not playing blind like me. I mean, I could look some of this stuff up. But I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go. But um, anyway, my brother's playing and he's been, you know, following the Reddit and he's been playing since before the launch. So I was explaining to him stuff in the game that he didn't even know was in the game because he's been on a couple month break because, you know, Baldur's Gate came out and all the new games came out. So he's been playing those. But anyway, um, he, he's a pretty advanced player and he was telling me about some of the stuff that um, that he does. And one of the things that he does is he 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 uses the cookery to make certain meals and you get different buffs from those meals and apparently those buffs are kind of important now i don't know that much about it but he was telling me about it so 
Yeah, it's not just about keeping the hunger down, which I was like, hmm, I didn't understand that. So now I kind of I got my head wrapped around that. <clears throat> I actually need to make the mushroom slurry times 10 because that's the toadstool chunk. The red toadstool gives more mushroom slurry than the brown mushroom. And that's all you need to know. And that's why I grow the toadstools. But anyway, that's um, not a big deal for right now. Oh, you guys, you guys, you guys. Okay, I had a, I had a dream sequence, and then I had to reset the game so that I wouldn't, so that I wouldn't miss it, so that you guys could see it. So let's go execute the dream sequence while we wait for stuff to happen. It should kick us into a dream. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Okay, Th this was the best dream sequence that has happened so far, and I was like, Yo. Director Schmechter. <laughs> like We're close to eliminating the raisin problem. Our team was up all night recalibrating this place. They're trying to figure out how to make the small specimens bigger of afterwards. Of course my hypothesis was correct. And this guy came in. Moment the next time you question my method. And he took over all the doctor's research. And they fired the doctor. How did Dr. Wendell Tully? Dr. Wendell Tully, that's whose backyard I'm in. I'm in Wendell Tully's backyard. This company fired him. This guy came in and took over. So what I'm thinking right now, look, she says this isn't what I signed up for. So I might have an ally, you know what I mean? So, and, and there's evidence that other kids have been in the backyard. Cause you know, I keep, I keep finding little bits of the puzzle. Cause that, that raisoning. Raisoning. Yeah, I gotta tell Burgle that I had a dream. So we're gonna go turn in the dream to Burgle. You guys always be crafting rope. If anybody's out there playing their own game, always, always be crafting rope. And that's why I've got like three things set up crafting rope. The, I mean the silk rope, the because you're gonna need it for your, um, for your lines up there. Those cost rope and you'll need it. Not not rope i keep saying it wrong um the silk lines <clears throat> okay let's see i don't think i want to upgrade any more equipment because i'm already pretty much maxed out on these ones i might do weapons though i don't know i can only do like one weapon if i do any weapons and i'm about to get tier three weapons so i feel like i should just not even bother and wait until i get tier three weapons I think I might just save this and wait until I get tier 3 weapons, honestly. Okay, let's put away the mushrooms. Yeah, I might just save all this stuff. Because I'm going to get tier 3 weapons, and I'm going to want to take those all the way up, and I'm going to start getting all this crazy stuff. And I may as well just wait until all that starts to go down. So let's put some of this stuff away. Sturdy whetstone. Do I have to turn the sturdy whetstone into a mighty glob? I don't know. I'll figure it out later. We'll just offload this stuff for now. Apparently, I've got one suspicious ice cap. And it doesn't say unanalyzed. Even though I haven't analyzed it. Because obviously, I just got it. And even though... It's clearly a different type of item than the item that I already had of the normal ice cap. So why can't I scan this fancy invalid object? It's not a... The mint is a charm. Um, 
Okay, that comment finally made sense. Now, I saw you posted that earlier, but I didn't understand it. Um, <clears throat> okay, so what does it do? Does it say? It is a charm. Okay, knowing that it's a charm. Simply holding it fills you with power. Okay, let's go see what the charm is doing. Lifesteal. Heal when dealing damage. That's from my sword, I believe. Block strength. Occasionally heal after blocking increased healing. Heavy armor. Block strength. Yeah, I don't know. That's cool to know. It's a charm. That's good to know. I'll be curious what it's doing. I do need to attempt to get some food. It would be nice to go to the upper yard with, like, a couple of roasts, you know? A couple of roasts. No water filtration tablets needed. Come on, ants. I can't eat you. Sometimes there's food actually on my traps out here, just, like, sitting there, because because bugs will run by them. I fortified my base a little bit because I was getting bugs over here. Not on purpose. Oh, yeah. Come on, I see the blood. Where's the free food? Oh, maybe an ant came by and ate it. The blood means there should have been a free food right here, but there's not. Oh, well. Yeah, it's weird. Normally there's a bunch of food just like right next to my house. Uh, I'm actually going to run over here and just farm mites like one quick little run of like mite farming. Because if I had some mite fuzz, I could make a meal. Okay, there. Okay, they're chasing that dude. Did he go up? Yeah, he did. Dude, pick it up. Mites, mites, mites. I might eat some delicious mites. And I might eat some delicious. Oh, you know, I could I could turn one of these aphids into a pet. What do you guys think? Should we do it? I think I know how to do it. I mean, I don't know exactly how to do it, but I think I could probably guess. Gives boost to fresh weapons. Okay, then I definitely need to stash that because I'm not using any fresh weapons. So that's good to know that I now have a charm. That's very cool. I guess that's probably just like a rare drop, right? Like one in like a hundred or something like that to drop that, I would guess. Okay, we're going to actually make some meals. I'm gonna feed myself on acorns for a while. Wait, what did I do? Oh, dang it. Better than starving, I think. I think I just unequipped my shield. That was misclicked. <clears throat> I 
Okay, keeping my hunger down. Oh, it takes two sturdy whetstones, and I only have one left. That's why. Okay, that's what it was. Because I was like, why do I have one sturdy whetstone in here? Okay, now I think... To get this pet, I'm pretty sure I gotta have either the spoiled meat slurry or the spoiled plant slurry. And I think it's the plant slurry, but I don't know. I don't know, you guys wanna try? You need plant slurry for aphids. Okay, that's what I was guessing because I was like, they're always running up the grass. So I assumed that like grass is what they eat and then they'll want the plant slurry. They want the mushroom slurry. I need to kill that thing. Okay, and then do you hit the... You hit the L button to give it? I don't know. Hit the R button? Maybe I hit the R button once I get close enough. There's gnats. Just looking for any aphid. You know, it's always when you're looking for an aphid, like you cannot find one. You drop it on the ground. Okay. I hit the L button and it dropped it on the ground. So that, that makes sense. How many do you need? Because I'm worried that I won't have enough. Haven't tamed an aphid yet. We'll get enough just in case.
I have become a pretty good bow hunter. I'm hoping if there is a nearby aphid, like, maybe they'll come, like, I don't know, because I'm holding this. Yo, I dropped the third one. Where did it go? I had three and now I only have two. Where'd the third one go? Okay, I'm gonna drop it back away. See what happens. Okay, he's eating it. I can see he's eating it. Okay, it worked, but I scared him away, so I just got to start over, but that wasn't too bad. That's probably what happened to my last one. Did you see that thing? It bounced and it was gone. I wonder if I could tame a ladybug. Okay, let's watch this and... Go back down. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Oh, no, he's still scared of me. I think I'm too close.
Is it gonna come down? Come on, dude. I mean, how far back do I have to get? <clears throat> Hang out here long enough, you will find some food. Oh, is he mine? Wait a second. Hold on. I think I got one, you guys. He has a mark over him. I have a pet, you guys. I got him. He's mine. Look, aphid. He's mine, you guys. Yo, you guys, I did it. How do I give him a name and like do it all proper? Oh, I can't get through. Okay, you guys, I got him. I, I, I got a pet. It only took one. It only took one little... Uh... Dude, that noise, if he follows me, is going to be annoying. should follow me right I don't know hey what's up h2 so it says pet detected deposit pet Okay, I need to craft him some pet attire. So let's go ahead and just do that real quick. Anything I can craft for him, I'm going to do it. Okay, little red helm or little black helm? I say let's give him... Let's give him the little red helm so I don't lose track of him. You know? <clears throat> I'm worried that I might lose track of him. And I'm also worried I might shoot him. So we need to give him a little red helm so I realize that's my pet. That's not the... Don't shoot him. Alright, there we go. That'll work. Okay. Grab some food. Make some more food. I'm going to make roasts because a roast gives me like the most health. And then I'm drying these guys because I'm going to cook them into mite loaf. Which is why I had to go get some mite fuzz. And I actually need to get some more mite fuzz. I could use quite a bit more mite fuzz.
These will spoil, so I actually could just go adventure while I wait for them. Well, while I, you know, and, and use them, basically. I don't know. What's the deal with my pet? Personality, brave. Happiness, happy. Pet for one day times petted zero. How do I pet this thing? First off, where even is he? It says withdraw pet. Deposit pet. Now what on earth does this pet even do? Okay, let's go deposit a few things. I'm going to go turn in my dream to uh, burgle. I mean, apparently I have a, uh, I have a pet now. Ask me if I know what it means. I definitely don't. Hey, thanks for subscribing. Call me Justin. All right, I certainly will. I'm going to go over to... See my buddy. Burgle. I apparently... Uh, let's see, I got a bunch of rope I need to deposit. Let's go ahead and repair my equipment while I'm here. I'll just repair it all up. That way I don't have to worry about it breaking on me while I'm out. So what's a little confusing to me is, am I just going to have that pet? I never, like, I haven't seen it basically this whole time. Is it because I deposited him? Better not be making noise all the time. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. I think I can also get a pet Weavile too. Still don't have enough. Might fuzz. Never have enough might fuzz. No matter what I do. You know, I used to have a lot of might fuzz and then I used it all. Let there be light. There's mites over here.
Easy enough. I cannot go back into battle without heals. Very important. I can make a charcoal canteen once I find some lint rope and some pupa leather. And I'm telling you guys, I have been trying to find this lint rope and the pupa leather. You know, I thought getting a pet was going to be much more monumental than it was. I can't even give it a name. I don't even get to see it run around. There's no pet inside there. It doesn't even show it in there. So I'm like, wait, what's going on here? I don't know. That's confusing to me. Today I crafted the spice staff. You know, my brother had some staffs. <clears throat> all different flavors. Uh, he was firing them. I guess the thing is, with the staffs, you can't have a shield, though. And that's kind of like, hey. You know, wait a second. I need a shield. I gotta go turn in that quest to Burgle, so we're gonna have to go see Burgle. Wolf and Knight, are you gonna main with the staff or are you gonna main with a uh, with a shielded weapon? Oh dear. Yeah, both just switch out. That makes sense. Oh god. I've been poisoned. You know, this isn't going well for me. to respawn. Those wolf spiders are no joke. I thought that they would both be out wandering like they do at night, but one was wandering and one was in there. Now I'm going to have to kill him.
Too high for you. You know, the crossbow shoots straighter too. Shoots way straighter. Does more damage per arrow, which means that overall for all the arrows that you're holding, you would get more damage for those arrows with the crossbow. It would just take you longer to do it. <clears throat> so that's very important as well. That's a good spot right here. Okay, without him bothering me, I should be fine. By the power of Helion, champion of the sun. Why is there a backpack over here? Where should I left it? Hmm. Oh. Okay, we gotta talk to Burgle. Hello there! Acti How can I help you today? Ah, more of your fragmented memories. Let us stack them together like the ingredients of a burger. They are a common side effect of the drinking process. The memories, that is, not the burger metaphors, which are simply how I am programmed to understand the world. How can I be of assistance? side effects of the shrinking process, of which there are a few. Short-term memory loss, constipation, dehydration, among other minor ailments. But as for the long-term side effects, nothing to worry about, my friend. You are looking fresher than a non-frozen meat patty. Ha-ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Project Orc? That is certainly not something that Dr. Tully ever discussed with me. Prominent requires its scientists to use code names for their projects. 
Eventually, the marketing department gets involved to spice it up. I heard one scientist just used American state names in chronological order. Laughing out loud, but I digress. Whatever Project Org is, the name does not sound good. Director Schumacher, the head of the science division, oversaw Dr. Tully's project at Omnic. He's Tully's manager. Dr. Tully's disdain for Director Schumacher was even more than his disdain for soggy French fries. They had many disagreements over the years over the direction of the science division. If Schumacher is involved with this, I can assure you he is up to no good. That is what Dr. Tully would say. I have never met this chap and so must reserve judgment. Reasoning is an advanced form of dehydration and an unfortunate side effect of the shrinking process on humans. It appears to become worse with each subsequent use of the spacer. Even without prolonged use, it is a degenerative malady that has no cure at this moment. At the time of his disappearance, Dr. Tully himself was keenly experiencing the side effects of reasoning and was actively working on a solution. That research is currently on hold. Good news for you, however. Ocular analysis indicates a normal number of folds on your face for a human of your age. How can I help you today? Fare thee well, great. All right, well, that's all we get from my little guy. Have to keep things clean. There's experimentation to be done. This is like a big circle. So my brother was telling me that apparently these message boards are like, they're like little Easter egg messages from the developers. There's cool little stuff from the devs. But they actually do say, like, rational stuff on them if you can take the time to decode them. Go over to the soda can and get a soda drop. Hopefully no bugs. Two drops in this can per day, which is nice. And then I can actually use this right here to go to both the places that I want to go. I think I will go home and rest off the day. <clears throat> or rest off the night, I mean, because it's really hard to explore. When it's dark out.
Okay, we'll sleep off the night because it's annoying how dark it is. Honestly, they could have made the day cycle just a little bit longer and the night cycle just a little bit shorter because it's just like annoying, you know? Like, dang, I gotta do sleep and my food's all gonna rot and everything like all over again. Okay, I'm heading back over there. I wanted to explore that little area. Oh, I get so lost on this thing sometimes. There was that little area that was lower, but it was still part of the upper yard and it looked pretty small and I wanted to clear that out too. I usually take a little break while I'm on the the thing, you know, because it takes so long. Oh, the termites are how I get the pupa leather? Oh, really? Dude, I gotta go for those termites then. I mean, that's gotta be the next major thing I do is go to their termite hill. I really wanted to build a bridge over to that castle thing, but the resources aren't like right there next to it available. to come down here for a while but I want to explore the whole thing I mean everything every little rock there's gonna be some bugs and I'm pretty sure that there's going to be some kind of a little hidey hole of some sort where maybe I'll find something. Because it's like this area is like separate. It's like a higher little area. Tons of clay over here. I'm not worried about the spiders, but I don't really want to mess with them if I don't have to, if I can just run through.
getting a vibe of nothing over here. Which is strange. Usually there's something. The game is well balanced. They put a good amount of every resource in every area. Where's the last two? Oh, there's one, two, okay. You know, the game is just begging me to build right up here. There's something here. This isn't really the best way to do it, but it's the only one that's working, so we're going to do it. I saw something. There we go. Whole lot of nothing. And I don't see anything else up here either. Nothing burger. Save those for later. I don't think there's anything over here. I don't know. We'll see. I still haven't looked at the whole thing. I'm getting something vibes over here. We got something? Oh, I'm getting something vibes. Oh, there's something. Oh, God. Stupid spider.
Oh, here we go. Finally, something. Reward me for coming over here. It ain't much. I can craft that item now, so those are not as useful to me as they used to be. Okay, now if there's a bit of his lab on the ground, that means there could be a bit of lab. Yeah, look, there's some lab up here. Oh, I'm under the lab. This is so weird. Okay, I'm under the lab. I know where I am now. I never came down from up there before. I'm at where the lab was. Interesting. These used to be worth, like, better parts, but now I can get the parts a lot easier. But I am low on web, so... I found out the knife is perfect for spiderlings. See how they're not even getting me? The knife is, like, super good with spiderlings. Man, I'm all the way over here now. This is crazy. Not that I can't fight the spiders now. They're actually quite easy now. I just don't want to. This is moderately terrifying! I don't know. That area was kind of a bust. I was over underneath the lab, which is like kind of higher up. I don't know. I also fixed all of my... I fixed all my rope lines so they don't get caught on grass because there's little pieces of grass. And you'll get stuck on grass. Okay, I've never had this happen. Oh, he just went away. Okay, cool. I never had that happen before. I got targeted while I was on my rope line, and I never had that happen before. Yeah, I'm going to save it and wrap it up, because it's just so hard to get stuff done, especially because the night cycle is so long in this game, and the day cycle just seems so short. And, you know, most of what I want to get done is explore, so the day cycle, I need it. <clears throat> Alright, there's my baseball base. My beautiful baseball base. Alright, well. I'll save it. Oops. We'll call it a night, and we'll come back at it. Just have to try it again. All right, good night, peeps. This is gonna be a long game because there's a lot to do in this game. I was watching my brother play yesterday, and uh, when I was at his house, and he's so much further than me, and like, there's so much to do in this game. But it's fine because I'll get some stuff done on camera, get some stuff done off camera, and just keep on progressing like I've been doing. All right, good night, everybody. Peace, you guys.